sir so how would you describe the workload means before covid and right now when everything has started opening up right. so the workload is it different or have it no as i said the industry is still recovering um we have seen a large shift in um, clients um, as in the services that they did earlier there was a lot of uh, beauty services that were done along with the hair services but at the moment the emphasis has shifted people are doing more um, of hair services and um, beauty is suffering reasons could be a it is a touch rather is a touch based industry so there is some fear there is some stigma at the moment um the other thing is people are so used to working from home and have got gotten into this zone where they don't have to go nowhere so why should i you know why should i get ready or why should i uh, do the services that i would normally do as a maintenance or um, service to feel good about myself there is a, a mentality now in in the clients that you know if i had to do it every month why why shouldn't i do it every bi monthly or even once in 3 months because i don't have to go nowhere i have no office i have no meetings no outings to do so there has been a change in uh, the client's mindset um having said that um, that directly corresponds to the workload that we have so we have seen a drastic drop in uh, the customers that we had as compared to what we are servicing right now yeah. all these things might cause a huge stress right so mm-hmm. how you cope up to deal with all this stress well it's one day at a time um as i said stress and various factors that will influence your mental state are going to be there today covid tomorrow something else in the day after something else so we are one day at a time get through the day of course as i said we need to plan and uh, hopeful that we are able to execute that plan but always um, you know support system as you said a good support system uh, which fortunately i have in form of family as well as um, stop so yeah challenges are always going to be there and uh, the stress is something that being in mumbai i don't think anybody can avoid be it you know the, just the stress to take a train or you know sustaining your business uh, stress is always there so yeah we just have to cope with it we all have our coping mechanisms so i think um you just got to find your own coping system like what is your personal take on dealing with it what you do to get relief from the stress like watching movies talking to friends family hanging out like that uh, well i guess talking helps <laughs> sure um but most of the days of leisure are either catching up with friends or uh, you know maybe going out for a change of scene so we yeah, have whenever the opportunity presents itself i like to travel a bit and um, maybe catch up with old friends that's a nice sir so what are the future plans for studio 23 um well first off is just recovering the business so yeah that is on the cards and uh, if everything goes well and time permits and things fall into place hopefully be opening a, a franchise or maybe a second store shortly or whenever you know time permits but yeah it has been on on the cards for some time that we are due for a second store it's been 7 years i never wanted to rush into you know opening a second store like most people would and uh, you know just try and pass it on to somebody 
uh, we at Studio 23 take a lot of pride in what we do and uh, the standards that we maintain. And I would only think that uh, we would be only able to do justice when we can give our all to that particular outlet. So I think my current outlet is a place where uh, where we have done what, what requires to be done. And I think I'm now capable enough and have the time enough to sort of, you know, focus on another project. So, yeah, I think that is the plan. Nice. So, Cyrus, sir, would you like to share experience of collaborating with Bollywood artists and artists from various fields? Yeah, I mean, um, Studio 23 in itself has never collaborated with uh, any of the artists from Bollywood. However, um, my wife is from the same industry. She is working with Siddharth Roy Kapoor, um, who has now his own production house. So whenever the opportunity presents, uh, we do a lot of freelancing uh, whenever it is possible. So yeah, as freelancers, we do a lot of work for the industry. However, as Studio 23, we have not collaborated with uh, any of the artists. Oh, okay, sir. So, would you like to share something about the products and the services you offer in the studio? Yeah, I mean, we, we have been um, a L'Oreal recognized studio for uh, since the beginning. So, all our hair products are L'Oreal. And uh, we provide all, all services um, that are currently available with L'Oreal, so from colouring to chemical services, straightening, uh, hair spas. Um, but we do, we do take a lot of pride in our haircuts, so we've, we've been known in the market for our haircuts. Um, I, I would like to say that we are also known for our standard and quality of service that we provide. Um, yeah, and that brings me to something that I've, I've been meaning to say for some time is um, the competition is always, you know, trying to offer clients more lucrative prices. Um, I mean, things that were being done 15, 20 years down the line, services which costed about, you know, 10,000, 8,000 rupees. Today, those services are being done at about 3,000 and 2,000. 15 years back, products were cheaper, um, rent was lower, everything was, so your expenses were lower, yet you, you were charging, uh, you know, a substantial amount for your services. And at this point of time, we are charging, I don't know how, but we are charging about one-fourth of what we were charging 15 years back. Which makes me think what services are we providing. We need to educate our client. We need to educate the salon owner. We need to educate the staff about what we are doing, what are the services that we are providing to our clients. Why are we charging them what we are charging them? And how do we justify to the industry the pricing that we are having? So these are questions that the industry needs to come together and find answers to. Or else the recovery that is happening, I don't see it for most of the people in the industry. For people who are charging 2000 and 3000 for services that would normally warrant a price of you know, seven, eight thousand rupees is, is, is simply beyond, uh, you know, logic and what is expected out of the industry. So, yeah, but again, coming to your questions, sorry, I strayed away. Um, yeah, services, we provide both hair services as well as beauty services. As I said, we are a L'Oreal um, recognized salon. So, products are L'Oreal. Uh, we provide most of the services that um, any 
salon, any decent salon would provide. Nice, sir. Sir, mantra, success mantra for new entrepreneurs or new business trainers who want to start something new. Well, I think the mantra for any successful business is putting your heart into what you are doing. Um, sort of getting up in the morning and you know having that fire in your stomach to get to work and and to do what you do with all your heart i think that is one of the key to success to any business and what comes along is a bit of planning um, knowing your market knowing your clientele the segment of clientele that you're targeting um, you know, I think any 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 student out of business school should have the answers but what is important is you know you doing what you think is is something that you were meant to do right so then you are getting paid for something that you are sort of you know, wholeheartedly invested dedication and commitment and all of that will automatically follow which is required of course for for any business to be successfully run so all of that will fall into place if if you have uh, you know that single minded thought you know, of of coming to work and giving it your all everything else will fall into place the other thing I would like to bring up for budding entrepreneurs is uh, think about your investments, think about uh, the capital cost, think about the running cost, think about costs that you may incur. You know. These are all things that have to be um, sort of planned for. You cannot uh, start up something with with uh, you know insufficient resources so that is something that most entrepreneurs should keep in mind um, have a clear road map of where where is the the business heading so yeah that does make me an expert but that's my opinion thank you sir for sharing such an valuable life lessons which will surely help our budding entrepreneurs so would you like to make our audience aware of the fashion industry material and of your studio tour yeah sure of course Hi, so this is our studio studio 23 um, this section is our hair section we have the best in the industry products that we believe it's uh, imperative to provide great service or good service to our clients. So we tend to invest in uh, good products. Besides that, we are a Laurea recognized uh, salon. So most of our hair services are uh, products with Laurea. So we provide services like coloring, haircuts, um, highlights, uh, spas, texturizing services. So. Um, this is our work area. We've got four coaches on this side, two on that side. So ample of space for our clients. Um, besides that, uh, <coughs> this is our uh, section where, where we have our backwash, which is required for um, you know, shampoo, condition, spa services. And right in front of it is our pedicure and manicure section. So, uh, a place where the client gets some time to relax. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, this is Google 23 for you. Um, I believe in providing quality services and here we try to do our best at you know, giving our clients what they deserve. Thank you so much, thanks sir, for your valuable time and so much of substantial quality of learning which you shared with us. Thank you so much. CBW World 
wishes you a happy and safe life ahead. Thank you so much. Thank you, my pleasure.